Good morning and welcome to Wake Up With Jay. It's a beautiful Sunday morning. Uh, we're creeping up into the mid-70s today. And the sun is shining. we got a clear sky. I pray your weather is the same wherever you're at on this beautiful Sunday morning. By the way, it's the 18th of April, 2010. And the subject for the day, okay, which I find is very appropriate, is how high is your belief level? Okay. Now, for today, what we're going to do uh, under uh, Jay's thoughts, um, as you know, all week long I've been trying to get you to think success. Actually, every time I do a tape, I try to get you to think success. So, today we're going to use uh, some quotes, okay, and some Bible scriptures combined. And hopefully I'll be able to get my point across to you. So, let's start out. This one is by uh, my champion, and uh, remember my age, I'm 63, okay. Uh, we knew him as Cassius Clay. He turned into Muhammad Ali because of his religious beliefs. It says, to be a great champion, you must believe you are the best. If you're not, pretend you are. I know throughout my sales career, I have always, always believed that no man can outsell me, okay. And that was the only way I was able to maintain the high level of success that I had. So you have to believe okay, in, in what you're trying to su uh, succeed with your success in business that you are the greatest. You are the best. okay, And you can accomplish this. You just have to believe in yourself and the abilities that God has given you. All right. So since I said that, let me... Let me go there just for a second. Please bear with me because i got a couple I want to go through and you kind of get a full picture when I'm finished. Okay? The first one says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Philippians 4.13 I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So we know where our strength comes from. And this is, so we boldly say, the Lord is our helper. I will not fear. What can man do to me? That's Hebrews 13.6 we talked before, a lot of us, we hold ourselves back from our own success because we're actually, we have fear. <laughs> we're afraid of becoming successful. We're afraid of the things that you have to do. We're afraid of what our neighbors are saying, what our friends are saying about the business that we're trying to do. Um, Jesus said unto him, If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. That was Mark 9, 2, 3. All said unto him, If thou canst believe, if thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believe. You have to believe. When my sign above me says believe in you, what it's really saying is believe in the in the talents that God has given you. Okay? You can do anything as long as you have the belief that God wants you to have it. And believe me, he truly does. Now this one, this is a quote by Mr. Mark Victor Hansen, and I think this kind of sums it all up very quickly. Your belief determines your action, and your actions determines your results. But first, but first, you have to believe. Nothing happens without your belief, your faith, your hope, and all possibilities, okay? You've got a why. You've got an important why. I don't know what it is because you haven't shown it to me. Okay, Your family, your wife, your kids, that loved one, they deserve you to accomplish your why. Okay, But you have to believe. That's where it begins. All right? So, believe, have faith, hope. Okay, Your success is destined to come true. So now... It's family day. I want you to go out and, and enjoy your family. You have a beautiful day. Okay, and we'll be back here tomorrow getting back to work, right? <laughs> go out and bless somebody. It's Sunday. And whatever you do, tell them who sent you. That's right. Jay sent you. God bless.